Hey, good morning, YouTubers, followers. It's Monday morning. We're in Santa Rosa County. We're going to a place I haven't been to in a while. It's called Escribano Point Wildlife Management Area. It's in the middle of a national forest. Uh, actually, let me check that. We're in the middle of a forest. It's maybe state forest. I, I'm not really sure. But uh, anyway, it's been quite a while since I've been here because the bugs were so bad the last time I was here. That was probably, I don't know, five months ago. <clears throat> they about carried me and the van away. Pretty rough area, but it's, it's one of my favorite places to visit. Uh, I do have to go to work later. So I figured, what the heck, come down here, see if anything's changed. I know this is a busy place during hunting season. I think it's still hunting season. I'm not really a hunter, so I don't know. We'll see if anything's changed and or if there's any activity out here. It's really pretty. Uh, and pretty soon we're going to leave the asphalt road and we're going to be on a lot of bumpy dirt. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of rattling in this van. But that's what makes it so fun and special out here. Uh, the conditions of the road make it a uh, deterrent to most people. Normal people. And I'm definitely not a normal person. But I do love this area out here. Uh, we're just going to take you for the drive. I think I've done this once before. Uh, we haven't had a whole lot of rain here in the last few days. I know certain parts of this area get real big, big puddles. And it's hard to judge or to see if you can navigate through it. Hopefully we're okay today. It's uh, mostly blue skies. I did not check the weather. Uh probably going to be mid to upper 60s, I guess. I don't know. Just my guess. May, may, might reach 70. Anyway, this uh, neighbors a uh, Air Force base, military installation. Uh, we're going to take a right up here soon. And if you were to go straight ahead, you'll probably see it. It's the, uh, the gate with a military entrance. It's not the main entrance, I'm pretty sure of that. It's probably like a facilities entrance or something like that. But it's really lovely out here. I did stop, get a little bit of breakfast that I haven't eaten yet. Once I get parked, my, my breakfast is gonna be cold, but it's okay. Uh, got a package to open up I got from the post office and just gonna sit and enjoy some tranquility now this these two areas up here uh, one one section of it's called the Fundu Bayou and one's called Bayside Park or something like that they used to allow camping. It's all primitive there. For whatever reason, they discontinued uh, the primitive camping. It is only day use only. It's still a nice place to visit. But it's a darn shame because I, I camped out here a few times a while back and uh, really enjoyed it. And they were small spots. Well, I say small spots, there was only a small amount of spots. The Fun Du Bayou only had four, four areas to camp. And the Bayside Park, I don't remember how many it had, maybe six. That was a little more spacious and it was right on the water. The Fun Du Bayou was also on a little uh, cut through canal type thing. Probably not going to take the little path to the Fundu Bayou. 
Okay, this is the road. We're, see, if you see straight ahead, that's the military base. We're going to take right here on Choctaw Field Road. And this is where it gets bumpy. All right, that sign there said that the Escribano Point Wildlife Management Area is 3.5 miles up this dirt road. For some reason, I thought it was further than that, but I remember I've measured this a few times. I think it was five miles from the main road, Highway 87, to the back here. But I did hit the odometer once I pulled over and started this video. So, the good news is, uh, last night it warmed up temperature-wise. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I had that cold, that cold thing going on for a while. Kind of wears you out. You get tired of blowing your nose all the time. Every time I come down this road, it reminds me of the wild west no way. The true dirt roads. All the times I've been back here, I've never seen a deer. Well, I take that back. No, I take that back. When I pulled into where we're ultimately going, uh, I think it was the last time I was here, there was three or four deer grazing, and then they ran off into the swamp. But I've never seen any out here on the road that or bear just uh, some birds pretty much it I don't even remember if I've seen squirrels out here but there's some really really beautiful sights to my left uh, as you're going all the way up but it, they all say uh, closed area no trespassing it's all owned and restricted by the military base there's a couple little tiny beautiful little ponds it's so tempting but I don't want to go to jail so I uh, resist the urge to break the law but here we are I work in retail grocery so it's going to be the worst week of the year coming ahead and we're going to be short-handed. Well, it's the worst time to be short-handed. It's funny how that always works out. Somebody's always getting getting the shaft. Anyway, I will be working Thursday, Thanksgiving, from 10 a.m. until probably about 5.30, 6 o'clock, something like that. The only good thing is it's time and a half. But see how pretty this is back here. And once we get up to this opening, there's big, big like oak trees. I think that's what they are, oak trees. Real nicely shaded. There's picnic tables. You can have a enjoy a lunch. The fishing's really good out here. It's supposed to be a lot of redfish. I'm just coming out to uh Enjoy the, the relaxation. Call it the calm before the storm. <clears throat> At the very end of this road, there's a cabin, an off-grid cabin, totally run by solar. That's what off-grid means. And it's uh, owned by the FWC. And I did stay there during Hurricane Irma. The FWC officer that was residing there is no longer with the agency. And there's somebody else residing there. It's a darn shame because if he was still living there, he would let me fish off his dock. And really nice guy. His name was Kevin. Probably still is Kevin. I'm going to pull over here for one second. I got to shed my hoodie because I'm getting kind of hot. So hang tight. Enjoy the free view with no uh, bumpiness.
Alrighty. On with the show. Oh, that feels much better. Starting to overheat there. I'd rather sweat than freeze. Hopefully we can get to the end. We might even get lucky see see some deer again. That was kind of caught me off guard last time. I wasn't filming. And by the time I got pulled in, they had already uh, left the area, ran into the swamp. So I've got a bunch of things planned on Wednesday. I'm expecting some some funds. When I do, I'm going to renew my state park pass and my fishing licenses. The one thing that bums me out is I like to do everything at the same time, get the fresh water and salt water at the same time. But if I understand the regulations correctly, this part I know is accurate. You're allowed five recreational crab traps, but they have to be registered. And they have, to, you know, this part, I don't know if it's accurate or not, but it's free to register your crab traps, but you have to register them every year. And you have to affix a label to your crab trap, identifying your, your address, your name, your uh, trap number, and whatnot. So it would suck because if I register the traps at the end of November, it's only good for a month, and I'm not most likely not even going to be using the traps. So I guess I just have to suck it up, and January 1st or so, just register those traps it took forever for me to to get the uh the, the registration numbers and whatnot so hopefully it goes a little bit faster this next time but trying to stay legal do all the right things i did go to a state park yesterday and the uh, ranger lady was really nice the lady at the guard shack I was asking to pay and she says, no, you've got the uh, annual pass right there in your wallet. I use one of those uh, portable Q-tip containers as my wallet, put my credit cards, driver's license in. And I said, yes, ma'am, you're right, but it, it expired at the end of October. I said, you can check it if you want. She checked it, she goes, yeah, it did expire. She goes, I'm not gonna charge you today. So I got off kind of cheap. That was kind of nice. One good thing happened yesterday. But that's never happened before. But, uh, so yeah, at, at this park I went to yesterday, <coughs> excuse me, I was going to do some hiking videos of the trails that I've never walked out there. Beautiful park. And that was the main purpose of me driving way out there because I wasn't going to camp overnight. That may come up this Thanksgiving weekend if there's availability. But I get there and uh, the trail was closed because they had a prescribed burn the day before. Even though there was no indication of anything smoldering, they still had it, the trail uh, blocked off. So I was kind of bummed about that. But uh, we'll get to it one day. It was really nice because the temperature was perfect, blue skies. It was a little breezy, but on the trail, there would have been some protection. Uh, I got a couple really cool short videos, but the, the wind noise uh, kind of ruined the quality of the video. So I, I, I'm exploring what I can do. I may, I may just mute one or both. I don't know how to add music to it. 
some of my uh, smart friends are telling me just dub some music to it. But they don't know who they're talking to. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll have, we'll have that in reserve for a couple days. Or it could be a couple weeks. Once I get some downtime and can actually get to my laptop. See, I told you it's bumpy. The guy that was living down here, the FWC officer, he was a heavy equipment operator. And he would uh, grade these roads periodically when they needed it. And I'm assuming the person that moved in where you know he, he was residing is probably a heavy equipment operator as well. They have a couple, they have some uh, walking trails up here that I'm gonna explore one day. Now I can, it's probably a good time of year for me to do so because now the bugs are not gonna be as much of a problem. Hopefully they're non-existent because we got down into the 30s. So hopefully they're done for a while. But there is a, a little pullover area up here. A little asphalt paved area. Probably, I don't know, four, five, six cars can park there. But, sorry, my, my screen is not perfectly leveled. All these bumps kind of shook up the, uh, the holder here. I'd love to see a deer run across the road, but I haven't seen one yet, but I know they're out here. Certain areas up here, you're allowed to use dogs for the hunting. Usually it's posted. So when we get up here, uh, there they do have uh, like porta potties up here. They don't have any running water. They do have bear proof trash cans. Like I said, a couple picnic tables. I forget the exact amount. It's a nice little area. I've done some videos up here before. When I did camp here, I never, I never did videos back then. I wasn't a YouTuber back in the day. It would have been nice to preserve a part of history that's no longer allowed. So I just looked at the tree to my right and to my left and there's posted signs indicating it is a dog hunting area. I've never seen dogs in action hunting I've seen uh, canine dogs tracking criminals. That's pretty cool. That's a really neat thing to see. That's I've seen that quite a few times. It's crazy when you do that at night with the dogs and you have flashlights and helicopters with spotlights and whatnot. And you tend to see a lot of uh, things you wouldn't see in the daytime. You see, all of a sudden, you see all these eyeballs looking at you, and it really freaks you out because you know a lot of it's uh, just wildlife. But you never know: if, if, is it the the bad guys you're chasing, or is it just raccoons and whatnot? So that's a pretty eerie feeling when you're in the dark. And you see a bunch of eyeballs looking at you. All right, so you see what I'm talking about, long, bumpy dirt road. 
A lot of pine trees up in here. I think uh, a lot of these are the long leaf pines. I'm not an arborist, but I know that most of these forests do possess those. Oh, I can't wait to get parked because I'm kind of hungry. Kind of thirsty too. I need to get a drink of water here. I got a bottle of water here somewhere. I did put a little bit of fuel in here just in case since my gas gauge is broken and I don't want to break down five, six miles from the road. Hopefully I have a cell signal up here. I think they did put a tower in within the last uh, year or so. So we'll see. There's a YouTuber guy I like to watch so on Monday mornings at 10 a.m. Central Time. Guy goes camping every weekend, he does a little cooking video. Pretty cool, cool guy to watch. It's like my ritual, 10 a.m. Channel's called Five Bites. I think it's Five Dash Bites. Guy's name's Dale, always does a pretty good job. You find some pretty cool places. Okay, so this is one of the little pullover areas. To the left and I see some heavy equipment I see a track hoe to the left and a dump truck probably with the trailer for the track hoe I'm not gonna turn in there okay the track hoe is on the uh, closed gated portion of of the trail there could be just clearing some trees, what have you, what have you. Okay, pretty soon coming up here, I think we're coming up on the split. If you went to the left, it would take you to Fundu Bayou. The right takes you to the Bayside Park. I'll show you the sign here. Really cool place. Uh, it's a darn shame you can't camp out here anymore. Oh, here it is. I'm going to show you this. Here are my brakes. I, I got to get the brakes fixed. Okay, it's, it's Fundy Bayou, not Fundu Bayou. I always screw that up. Fundy Bayou. All right. Yeah, when I get this, uh, my funds on Wednesday... I can't wait to upgrade to a better cooler. There's some things I've been putting off for quite a bit. Fixing the brakes. Is, I, I got a really good uh, contact on that. Somebody's going to said they would help me out, do it for free. I told them quite adamantly that I don't want it done for free. I just need it done and I can pay you. He insisted he would get me the parts at a discount and do it for free. Uh, so I will reward him and his friend, but I, I, I definitely need to get that done soon. If I can order the parts on uh, Wednesday, I might have it hopefully by Saturday. I don't know. I'm not sure how quick they would come, but it sucks because the guy that would do the work for me. He works Monday through Friday, like basically eight to five. And I work two to 10, two to 11, basically. So our schedules don't jive. So the best time for us is to do it on a weekend. All right. We're coming into the entrance here. We've got to veer to the right a little bit. The FWC place is off to the left here. Not quite there yet, but at least for recording, in case we do see some deer, that would be really cool. Oh. <clears throat> little mud puddle, nothing too bad to worry about. Uh-oh, this one's a little bit bigger. All right, 
hopefully I can get through here, no problem. Let's see what happens. Oh boy. That was a little deeper than I thought. We're still rolling. I love remote places like this. Little hidden treasures. I was watching a video yesterday, the FWC off-grid places to the left here. I'll tell you about what I was watching yesterday. Let's see if we can see any deer. They were on the far side back here. I'm not seeing anything yet. Not even vehicles, which is a real good sign. Okay. No deer. But you're going to see this beautiful, amazing view. I love all this uh, ghost moss hanging from the trees. Okay, there's a really, really soft spot here. Looks like I could get stuck. I'm not going to go there. Looks like somebody was stuck. Looks like somebody was uh, doing donuts here. Some rednecks in four-wheel drive trucks, probably. So that's what you're seeing. I'm going to nose in here. And that's going to be the end of the video. Yeah, there's only one porta potty. I thought there was two. But it's a big one, handicap accessible. All right, so that's that, folks. Thanks for coming along with for another adventure. Talk to you next time. Remember, let nature soothe your soul.